Hey, I'm Tony Phelan. I'm an executive producer here at Grey's Anatomy. And I directed Song Beneath the Song, the musical episode. Action! We're just going to take you through some of the early rehearsal footage that we shot as we were laying out what was going to happen in the musical. Clear. Kind of give you guys a behind the scenes look at how we put something like this together. It was really incumbent upon Shonda to come up with a way to tell the story and have it be kind of a Cali centric episode. So this is a diagram that Zoanne Clack, who is our writer who is also an ER doctor, did of Cali and her injuries so that when we had our medical meeting we could all follow along with exactly what's going on. Storyboards that I did of the crash sequence. Here you see Arizona pulling her head off the airbag and we see them going down the hall and we see hurt Cali on the gurney. Three weeks before we were going to start shooting the episode. She's talking to Bailey. I thought it would be a good idea for Sean and I to walk all of the stages. We're gonna move the whole thing and for me to tell her as close as I could how I was gonna shoot each sequence, each song. You shoot it hyper real or brighter or that it has a feeling. So it has a feeling of non-reality. It has a feeling of non-reality. And all of these scenes that had all of our doctors in them. All right, is everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. In the first segment here. It made more sense to me that she starts out singing to Callie and then she's told, eyes on Sloan, and she goes on. What we're talking about is the importance of each song was a story that had to do with Callie and her predicament. Once she sees herself, I want to do a 360 degree pan as she sings all the way around this whole huge Megillah event. The people that you see there, that's the writing staff of Grey's Anatomy. We also refer to them as the Grey's Anatomy players. Joan, you're here, and you guys are arguing. I'm Bailey. Because they had to enact all of the characters as I walked her through it. Stop, and then push her, so she'll go headfirst into the surgical elevator over here. This was such a big undertaking, and there were so many people in every scene that ABC gave us an extra day, and we rehearsed all of the medical sequences without the cameras, and that saved us a tremendous amount of time. One step at a time. One step at a time. Here's my one weird thought. This is the moment where Shonda had this kind of great idea that came to her in a dream. The Callie that we see is singing Callie. All well, looking great, and they Callie transfer. The and then when she hits the table, she becomes... That's great. I love that. And that's an image that you see absolutely on screen. If you're doing that, is she can be singing laying down. So I can be yes. over her yes. watching her yes. sing and get transferred as she's being really cool. That's great. She is a fantastic collaborator and has great ideas. And I'm glad that she trusted me to kind of know what her vision of these important moments were and to be able to realize those. All of that stuff was so much more interesting to me than Callie was singing it. We're in season seven now, and we're always looking to change up the way we tell stories. <laughs> the most satisfying thing for me is that everybody on Grey's Anatomy and the studio of the network have really kind of come together. Okay, ready? And everybody's contributed their creativity to making this thing be as good as we could possibly make it be. Lovely! And it was challenging and it was scary, but I think that ultimately that's where you have the most fun. All right, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah.